A driver stops to let people cross the highway at Cathedral Grove, sparking a flurry of horns from traffic behind. Cars lined up along the side of the highway despite no parking signs, and a driver turns left across the highway right in front of a no-U-turn sign. Park visitors say the parking and pedestrian problems are obvious. Parking is a little sketchy, but this, this, this is a little scary, this road here. We weren't okay? sure where to park, weren't sure we were in the right place, Yeah, but we just followed the crowd. We can imagine that there can be some accidents with all the traffic down here, yeah. yeah. Since 2015, the Alberni Valley Chamber of Commerce has been calling for safety upgrades on this stretch of Highway 4. Three years ago, the chamber renewed its calls after no action was taken during the pandemic, but still the traffic chaos remains. What I find frustrating is that the place has been closed for a year and a half and nothing was done. Why not? In 2022, the Ministry of Transportation added new safety features, including medium pickets to prevent vehicles from turning across the highway, along with no U-turn signs. But clearly, it's not working. Other safety features implemented include rumble strips to slow drivers down, speed radar bars, and overhead flashing pedestrian signs. But those running between vehicles to cross the road say more needs to be done. Maybe a little blinking light that you hit, a little flasher and something like that. But then you got to worry about everybody doing it and then backing up traffic, so it's complicated. Crosswalk would, would do well. Maybe more clear signage and a, a spot specifically to cross would be nice. Crosswalk light. Crosswalk. One of those automated crosswalk lights no crosswalk with some uh, white stripes on the ground. The ministry says it is aware of safety concerns in Cathedral Grove. In a statement, it says many of the no parking signs have been vandalized and stolen, adding it is working to replace them. The ministry may also consider additional safety measures if concerns continue. For now, visitors can expect this kind of chaos along one of the most beautiful stretches of highway on Vancouver Island.